what's going on youtube it's the chosen aquatics and we're back with another video and in today's video we're going to be adding fish to the 75 gallon planted community tank and these are fish that i have never kept before but I always wanted to get and they are the infamous serpe tetras so we have 10 of them here and they've been temp acclimating for probably about 20 minutes now and we already got the little rig set up what we're going to do is we're going to drip acclimate them so what I like to do when I drip acclimate fish, I basically just get a container. I pour the fish in the water that they're inside of the bag in into the container. And then I drip water from my system into that container until I double the water volume. Then I know the fish are good to go to go into the aquarium. But we decided we were going to make the video today to show you guys the first time the Serpe Tetras come into their new home. I'm really excited about this fish and I hope you're really excited about the video. So let's get into the drip acclimation. All right, guys, we got them in. And as you can see, we got the drip started. So basically when this bowl is completely full of water, I believe they'll be good to go in. And then we will net them out. We will add absolutely no water that come from the fish store into our system. So if you're at home and you're drip acclimating fish, never, ever, ever add the water from the fish store into your system. So guys, the reason I say never ever allow the fish store water into your system is because you have no idea what they have going on in their tanks and you do not want to add their water into your system that's established and healthy. Really, in reality, you should be quarantining your fish at all times, but I'm a little hard headed and I don't have a quarantine system set up, but I do take a little bit of extra time while I'm at the fish store examine the exact fish I got or I'm getting and you can really kind of tell where the fish are at health wise you can tell if they visually have anything wrong with them as far as parasites or anything like that goes but with that being said the drip acclimation is almost complete and while we're sitting here filming this video I heard somebody pull up and it was the delivery man so we got the, all the sponge filters for the 10 gallons on the new fish rack came in and the heaters. So at the end of this video, we'll go check out the new fish rack. We added a couple more tanks and we're expecting all the filtration and um, all the airline tubing, air stones and things like that to show up today. And it's really cool because we already got the first box earlier than we expected to. So what I'm gonna do now is this thing's got a few more minutes before it's ready. I'm gonna let it finish doing its thing. We're gonna grab the net. We're gonna net the new fish, add them into the new aquarium, their new home. Hopefully they're happy in here. I think they will be. And then once we get all that done, we'll take a couple minutes. We'll go check out the fish rack and we'll close yet another video out. So I believe the drip acclimation is good. I believe everybody's ready to go in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this hose from the water with this clamp here. Kind of difficult to do one-handed, but a lot of you guys should already know about stuff like that. So to make it a little easier, we got the big net. We're gonna pour them straight in the net and straight in the tank they go. All right, got them all in. Enjoy your new home, guys. This is kind of hectic here. We got some stuck in the back, but I believe everybody's in. 
Got some people called in here. All right, that didn't go exactly as planned, guys, but they are all in. Everybody's kind of huddled up at the back back there trying to figure out what's going on. That was a lot harder than I anticipated to do one-handed. Probably should have got a slightly smaller net, but hey, you live and you learn. I'm going to let them calm down for a few minutes. We're going to go check out the new fish room, show you guys how the racks look, and then we'll come take a look at them to close the video out. So guys, boom, here we are at the fish rack. As you can see, last time you saw it, we had the 10, 20 long 10, and we had the extra 10 there. Well, since then, we've got another 20 long and another 10. And this is kind of where we're at now. We're waiting on a lot of stuff to come in the mail, but the 10s are gonna run these small sponge filters. We got some slightly bigger sponge filters for the 20 gallons and uh, 100 watt heaters for each tank. And I'm really looking forward to this, guys. I am so pumped about this. I got airline on the way today. I got, um, uh, what's them, uh, air stones on the way. And I have more sponge filters on the way. And later today, it's not going to be on video, but I'm probably going to go pick up the lights for these top three aquariums. And the game plan is to set these first six up because we're kind of undecided what we want to do on the bottom rack, but we're going to go ahead and set all six of these up, get them running, get them cycling, get some good media in there, and it won't be long and we'll be adding fish to the new fish room. Um, I hope you guys are halfway as excited as I am about this room. This room's going to pump out a lot of content. We're going to keep a lot of cool fish in here, and I am extremely stoked. So let us know in the comments what you think about how we got the Rack laid out. Do you like the 10, 20 long 10, 10, 20 long 10? And if you're seeing this, please let us know in the comments what kind of fish you would like to see us keep in here. One of these tanks, possibly one that's on the bottom rack, I believe we're going to do salt water. So possibly a 20 gallon salt water tank and we'll build it like a budget build. We'll show people how you can keep a salt water tank the affordable way and shatter the myth that you have to break the bank to keep a saltwater aquarium because it's simply not true. Is there going to be a slight adjustment in cost versus setting up a freshwater tank? Of course, but it's not going to break the bank to set up a saltwater aquarium and not only set it up, that aquarium will be successful and it will be a tank that you can enjoy for years to come. So let us know what you think in the comments, guys. We're going to go back in there. We're going to check on the new Tetris, all 10 of them, make sure everybody's doing good. And that'll be the end of this one. So it's been a few minutes and everybody's kind of calmed down. They're still all together. Um, you have the one straggler here, the one little brave guy that's exploring on his own, but they will color up some and uh, hopefully they are as happy as everyone else is in the 75 gallon planted tank. I've always wanted those fish. If you're not familiar with those fish, they will have a very nice, pretty red color when they color up, when they're not so stressed and they're not trying to figure out what's going on. And they're really gonna be a nice addition to the 75 gallon planted tank. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you tune in to future videos. And I hope you're looking forward to all the updates we have coming on the new rack, the new fish room that we built, because it's really starting to come together. If this is the first video of ours that you've stumbled across on YouTube and you like this kind of content, you're into fish keeping yourself, please consider checking out the Chosen Aquatics YouTube channel because we post fish related content weekly and we would love for you guys to join the Chosen Aquatics family. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and close this video out here. We're the Chosen Aquatics, and we hope we get to see you guys in the next one.